Hey, you saw in this current video, are the current highs dangerous? I'm just going to be getting over what, what runs through my mind every now and then. You know, a couple of questions I ask myself just relating to the current highs that we're seeing with the gold and silver. So before we get into this, I'd like to say if you haven't done so already and you like what you see slash here, please do go ahead and subscribe. And also just a big shout out to all those that have been leaving comments in the comment section. I will be catching up with all my comments, i.e. leaving replies and, you know, the big shout outs. And also to those that have been sending me emails specifically, I, I haven't been ignoring you. Some weirdos decided to just spam my email account with, you know, hundreds of the same messages containing, I don't know, Russian or French, and just links and foreign language stuff. So I've just been sifting through and deleting that one by one. And if you are genuine also, sending emails in a foreign language at least go through the hassle of converting it i'm not going to be clicking on any you know still my account dl link so you know just a shout out to all those in the email that sent me emails i will be catching up and replying to you guys also but bear with weirdos will be weirdos and i'm going to be catching up with all of my replies also um this evening and like so not to forget i've been extremely active in in my everyday life even though they've been off forever, the kids, it's actually summer holiday and the likes of. So, yeah, I will be catching up with all of that. So, once again, big shout out to all those in the comments, you know, for leaving replies. I will be catching up with all of you guys. So, yeah, jumping into this, are these current highs dangerous? You know, it's something that goes over my mind every now and then. I'm just putting it out here and opening this video. And that's just looking at them and saying, are they sustainable? You know, first thing that goes through my mind, and, and believe you me, it does cross my mind, especially when I'm looking at certain metals. And it crosses my mind normally when I'm thinking I should cash in some gains and sell some. And it's normally regarding the metal that I'm holding here. Are they sustainable? You know, looking at the current, at time of release, this video, I believe in gold for the pound sterling, we're seeing all, all time highs. You know, it's absolutely fantastic. We're not mistaken, around the 15 pound 50 area. I think in dollars we've touched over the 2k mark and for silver well, i mean um, pounds down i think we're around the 20 pound 50 mark 26 dollars and if, if you've seen my previous video these are numbers that i've said i'll be taking some course of action in especially with silver so we got here kind of fast i mean since i've been stacking yeah young timer um it's one of these moments i've been waiting for you know when i first got into it i was you know, this this was a real juices flowing type of moment. You know, I was 100% metals. Not saying that it's it's a downer. It's very interesting to see. But you know, as as mentioned, are they sustainable? You know, I think that there will be hard times coming. But you know, as we go further into this video, it's going to be interesting to see which metal I think should or may see worse at times, just from the outlook. You know. I would say next one that constantly goes over my mind is will they be slammed? You know, are these metals going to be taking a slam in now? I want to know down below in the comments from, you know, anybody that wants to do so. Let me know when the dust settles, what prices you think we're going to be seeing. I.e., where do you see silver settling? What And what's going to bring that about? At the end of the manipulation, you know, the recession, the depression comes. Where do you think we're going to be seeing prices? Because at the moment, I can't currently call it. I've once upon a time easily said 10k gold, you know, um, easily touched the last highs on silver. But I've been doing a lot of feelers and seeing what's going on out there and not saying that dealers are clamping up, but they're becoming a lot more cautious in terms of, you know, premium seem to be insane in terms of selling, but purchasing... I uh, don't think I mentioned this last time, but dealers are starting to pull back a little. So you're not getting spot, you may be getting a little below spot. And these are, sometimes I mention these things that I don't, I don't really put out there. These are more London oriented dealers. I know a lot more of the online dealers are giving spot and maybe a little above spot, but then you have to take care of the shipping and the risk factor and the likes of. But, you know, I'm seeing dealers pull back a little. You know, especially with silver, so it's been very interesting. But where do you think the price is going to fall or sit once the dust sells with gold and with silver? And how long do you think it's going to be until we see, you know, some real insane movement? I think if we have the whole year, and that's a good little time we've got to play with from now until Christmas, just to figure out where we're going to be sitting. Ooh, from where we are right now, we could easily be seeing thirty dollars silver. 
or even $35 silver, 28, 29 pound emerald adults, yeah, 29 pound sterling silver. Ooh, some interesting times, very, very nice. But then I ask myself, will they be slammed? When I say slammed, I'm talking at an, an, an absolute slam dunk down. And what you have to understand that does straight away, especially if you're someone that likes to take risks or sell a little bit here and now and then, is dealers won't touch it when it's coming down and coming down hard. You know, they, they and understandably, they want to see what it sells. So I'm, talk, I'm talking about it from a seller's perspective right now, especially if you wanted to take advantage of the highs, you see it get up there, and then you're thinking to yourself, hey, I want to capitalize on this. Let me try sell a bit right now. It's moments like this where I would easily say we're going up from here. You know, if we also get slammed down from here, it would be abysmal. <laughs> you know, it'd be a very bad look because it was like, is that it? You know, is that what you had to offer? You know, you know not even another round. You know, just from here would be very bad luck. I don't think we're going down from here. I think we may see new highs for gold easily. Um and upper ups for silver but will they be slammed will they be slammed uh, i think inevitably you know and i think what will get slammed even though i see new prices being hit is the one that you know is always going to be needed and i feel i look at and view is the one that i think can always draw more people in so i always think silver will get slammed harder than gold it's just my mindset and view of it in the end of the day i think once we get to a certain price, the paper manipulation game will always be because it's where they make their most money and how, you know, they view it as it's not a physical thing. It's, it's whenever they've got markets that can be manipulated, it could never be in the physical form. I'm all for people that say it can't happen and this is how it's going to run and, you know, smart charts. But yeah, there's no secret, I'm not really a charts person. I think charts work fantastically in telling you what happened, you know, and a lot of people believe history repeats itself. But I think to a degree and in certain factors, i.e. it's going to rise again, <laughs> you know, calling a chart or telling a chart, you know, tea bag, crystal bag reading, crystal ball reading, call it whatever you want. I don't think works in finding out what's going to happen. I've never believed that was the case. I've always said it's a toss of a coin easily. If you want to look at a chart to tell you what happened, i.e. previously, then yes. So, you know, I've, I've heard people call things from charts and I haven't exactly agreed with them. I do believe the manipulation can come to an end, but I don't think it will cease to be it at, at all. You know, I don't think we're quite there where physical is going to rule the day and the paper shorts and all the manipulations just going to disappear and physical is going to break free. You know, and that, that just leads me on to believe or to answer my other question I normally runs through my mind is, you know, does this all matter if it's a hedge? If I'm using this as a hedge against inflation, none of this should matter because I just need to be know that I'm putting, you know, a, a set amount, 10K, for instance, dollars or pounds in silver or in gold or 50-50. And regardless of the seesaw ride that's taken place up, down, up, down, when I come back to it in 10, 20, 30, 40 years as my pension or, or choose to draw upon it, I'm not going to have lost any money. It's, it's, it's been a fantastic hedge. But, you know, I, I see gold publicly viewed as a fantastic hedge. And I see silver, although I want it to be and many want it to be not publicly viewed as a fantastic hedge. So I, I would easily say gold is a safe hedge and silver is a risky hedge. If you were to ask an investment manager i believe they'll say the same thing you know silver is that risky bet you know the underdog that a lot of people just choose or decide to take on is that you know you could technically call it high risk high reward depending on who you're asking but when i'm looking back and saying will they be slammed down i'm looking at the one that's the industrial metal in the public or industry's eyes and thinking it can't be that high so if anything's going to take a slam in it's more than likely going to be that. So that's the worry there. So I see the price going up thinking, should I cash some in? And I have got a couple of trades going on in the background and we'll be documenting them when the time comes. So, you know, are these current highs dangerous? These are, these are the things that are running through my mind. Are they sustainable? I don't think nothing's going to be sustainable. What goes up must come down, but will they find new highs? I think we should be seeing 2K, 2,000 pounds sterling. You know, for gold easily, but I'm calling the price. I, I expect it to be the new norm. 
and then silver what would be great if we had 30 pound as the new norm so technically doubling what we've seen for the past five ten plus years now holding but then if i was to say will it be slammed i believe silver would be slammed easily and and gold could hold its price because it's a hedge you know it's a safe hedge and it's just a known hedge globally just regardless but then will it matter? Will it, for me, it will matter because I want to be putting my money in something that's not going to be a risky hedge. You know, I, I, I believe if something will then depend on when you purchase, if something's going to lose value, um, maybe go down even lower, depending on when you decide to tuck into it or draw into it, I would sooner be invested in something that's not going to be so volatile. And, you know, for me, that's always going to be the sun now. But I would love to know what, you know, you guys think in terms of where the price is going to go from here and where we're going to hold. Do you believe we're going to be seeing new highs and it's going to hold? I mean, that's the ultimate question here. Are these prices going to hold? And what's what's ahead? You know, we all know harder times are coming in terms of Brexit, the elections coming up in the U.S., looming slash we're technically here recession slash depression we haven't seen nothing yet in terms of appreciation especially if we're seeing it right now I, I i know we're on an up right now i would easily say we was, we was on an up if we went down from here once again it'd be absolutely abysmal but you know where do you guys believe we'll see or we'll see the metals from now until christmas and then even into next year let me know down below guys so this is going to be you know are these current highs dangerous so i'd love to know your thoughts and opinions on this video and also on where you think the metals are going to land down below in the comments so if you haven't done so already it'd be fantastic if you liked and subscribed and i'll most definitely get back to you guys on the rebound